One of the most ba beautiful stories coming out of Minnesota Fighting Vikings training camp this season is the emergence of third-year offensive line masher Ole Udo, a.k.a. Ole Alina, don't you know? Oofta. He slammed the Dakota Dozier Dragon at right guard, but oh wait, there's more. Ole Udo could get even more work potentially on the blind side. Courtney Cronin, ESPN, go. Clint Kubiak on Ole Udo. The right guard with the ones, also getting reps at left tackle. He's going to have to play both, the offensive coordinator said. He's going to have to know both. He's going to practice reps at both. Right now, he's playing a lot of guard, but Phil Rauscher, the Vikings offensive line coach, is cross-training him as well. Ole knows that. He could be a starting right guard or a starting left tackle at any time, and he has to be ready to perform. And that's the kind of standard that we're holding him accountable to, end quote. So the first reaction is that Ole is going to play right guard and left tackle at the same time, man. Now, Ole does not have any NFL game experience at left tackle in, in the NFL or at the collegiate level either because he started 45 games at Elan. Go Phoenix, what up? All at right tackle. But he's been subbing in for Rashad Hill at left tackle, who's been starting on the blind side in place of first-round pick Christian Derriso who's coming back from a second groin procedure, and Ole has been swapping in with Blake Brandle, who is the presumptive swing backup tackle at this point. Uh, he also does have 20 snaps of experience at left tackle on field goal units in the regular season, by the way, so whatever. And it is interesting with Ole because he does have the size, length, and enough athleticism to succeed as an NFL left tackle, and it could be a way for the Vikings to get the best five offensive linemen on the field to start the season if they don't want to trot Rashad Hill out there, as rookie Wyatt Davis, at right guard, his natural position, continues to make a push to try and crack the starting lineup. And maybe the Vikings deploy this line to start the season until Derisaw heals up and then revert back to Udo at right guard. And options are important, man, and the Vikings certainly do have a couple with Ole Udo. I, I love how Clint Kubiak is talking about, hey, this is the standard. Everyone needs to be ready. And, and Rauscher is really instilling that as well. That's why you don't see a Dakota Dozier. That's why, well, I guess you do see a Rashad Hill. But maybe that will change. Maybe that will change. And they are putting a lot of stock into a guy who hasn't started an NFL game. But he's got the size. He's got the anchor. He's got the attitude to make Vikings fans very excited about the future of the offensive line. And hell, I mean, with last couple years with Rick Dennison here, should Ole Udo have been out on the field with would you have counted Ole as one of the best five Vikings offensive linemen? Maybe. Maybe. So maybe they did stunt uh, the pride of Elan's growth. But no more. No more. Ole, Ole, Ole. Oi, oi, oi. Damn straight. That's right. Uh, beer thoughts. Clint Kubiak talked about Ole Udo starting a right guard or left tackle. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work pulls some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull. Woo! Production value.